To bus stop nine so it looks like this is our transportation to saratoga springs we've just come into the um disney vacation club center they've just told us to relax and grab some refreshments uh, while we wait for them to get our contract ready so we've come over to the preview center at saratoga springs uh, pete our driver that brought us over here from the vacation club he was awesome he had so many cool stories didn't he mm -hmm. we really enjoyed it so yeah we're yeah. just chilling now with a drink lemonade. so yeah the, you said the lemonade is really nice so so we've got lemonade, also got some cold water, and yeah, then we're going to be signing our papers, and um, we might have a little bit of a tour around as well, nice have a look cream. at some of the rooms. Oh yeah, and we get free ice cream afterwards. And toppings. <laughs> and toppings, that's very important. This very important. sign up for news. <laughs> yeah. Really totally worth it for ice cream and toppings. <laughs> Disneyland. Magic Kingdom. And then Hong Kong Disneyland, although that is changing now, I think. Shanghai and Tokyo. We are just at the Pioneer Hall um, in Fort Wilderness because we are going to watch Hoop to Do Review. Now, we have been upgraded to some very nice seats which are literally right by the stage. So here's where I am. We've got a Rachel and we've got a stage. Literally right there. It's insane. So the good thing is what? If we're gonna embarrass anybody at our table, it's not gonna be us. Yeah, we were just saying like, we don't know how we feel being so close to the stage, but people that will be sat with us at the table have a birthday today and they're on honeymoon. So if they're gonna embarrass anyone, we think it's gonna be them. So fingers crossed we're left alone. <laughs> no, yeah, these seats are close. Yeah, I was like, when it's a walk and I was like, oh, we're so close to the stage. This is Oh, um, intelligence. 
inside the room. We had a really good day today. Uh, it was just a long day and it was a bit stressful at times and then it was really good at other times. <laughs> Well, let me just explain that a bit better uh, in my jet lagged delirious state. So, as you've seen, we went to uh, Galaxy's Edge first thing this morning, and I don't know if I explained something that happened along the way, which is quite embarrassing for me. But, um, as you can tell, I'm a little bit jet lagged, a little bit delirious. We were walking into Galaxy's Edge, and it was so cool. Like, as you've seen, the stormtroopers came out, and we were walking behind them. And it was just like, we were a couple of rows back. We got there about 20 past five, we're a couple of rows back. When we started moving, like, the, the path expanded. And we sort of just ended up being like right behind the stormtroopers, which was amazing. And we just walked the whole way in behind them. So, so cool. And we were just in awe, like coming into this new land. Oh my God, so in awe, but also very tired and jet lagged. Just remember that. And then we come around the corner coming into the land and I see Ray and Chewbacca. And I was like, oh, look, there's Eeyore really loud like really loud loads of people around heard and i was talking about chewbacca and like i didn't even clock it, it and nobody said anything and then literally like about 20 seconds later i was like hold on a second did i just call chewbacca eeyore and then rachel was just laughing at me but yeah that was embarrassing and i just i don't know what people around me would have been thinking like what is she on about um and why is like there's one up the front not know anything about star wars <laughs> But um, anyway, we got to the ride and the ride is amazing. I know we didn't do like the best parts because we had um, Gunner and Engineer, but it was still cool just to see it. And I thought like being the engineer, I could kind of like take it in a little bit more because I guess my role wasn't as important. Um, but I definitely want to go back and do pilot. And I know when Natasha comes, she's going to be an awesome pilot. So um, she loves playing video games and stuff. So we're probably actually not going to go back and do um, the early entry star like galaxy's edge until natasha is back um and do it on her first day i think later on in the day um we went to hoop de doo and that was fun <laughs> that was so much fun i like wasn't sure if it was like my kind of thing because i like um i do like musicals but like I don't know, I just wasn't sure. And I'd seen some videos, and I knew it looked like really fun and stuff. I knew it was Amy's thing, like my friend Amy, whose birthday it was. I knew she would love it, love it, but I didn't realize how much I would love it. I thought I would like it, but I didn't think I would love it. And I loved it, it was so, it, the humor and the atmosphere just doesn't come across when people put up like clips of it into vlogs. And um, But we were just laughing the whole time, the actors and singers and everything, they were just fab. And it was so much fun and it was far more, like adult than I thought it would be. And uh, there was lots of jokes that I guess the little kids wouldn't get, um, but we were all laughing. It was so funny. Uh, we really enjoyed it. And that sort of rounded off our day. But um, what I neglected to mention and what was the stressful thing of the day was um, going to sign our DVC contract. Now, this was interesting because I have we decided basically a couple of months back that we wanted to become DVC members and we're gonna buy at Old Key West. Uh, if you've seen the vlogs before, you know we go to Old Key West a lot. It's our family's favorite, so mom and dad's favorite. Um, our favorite is probably here, Animal Kingdom Lodge. We love Animal Kingdom Lodge, but we travel as a family as well quite a bit and uh, Old Key West is, when we're here with the four of us, Old Key West is our favorite to be in. It's a bigger room two actual beds which you only ever get in all QS DVC rooms. Every other DVC room is one bed and one like sofa bed. So anyway, we had been talking over the phone with our sales representative because that's the only way you can do it if you're um, calling from the UK. I have had numerous conversations over the phone about all Key West and uh, we went through the financials for all Key West. We went through the use year for all Key West. We went through the points I wanted for all Key West and um, yeah, we got here to sign the contract. The person I'd been speaking to over the phone was on holidays, but she said she'd make sure the contract was here and ready to sign because actually a change of rules has come in um, or is coming in in a couple of days, which meant that in order for us to get all of the member discounts, which is why we're going direct, 
um, with our first contract. I say first contract because there may be a second one somewhere down the line. Um, the reason we're going direct is because we want the member benefits. Um, it's just something that we decided. We know they're not guaranteed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but we just wanted to have the blue card member benefits. Fair enough. So we decided to go ahead, Ulky West. <laughs> and we came today to sign the contract when we sit down and we go through everything and we start signing things about our income, all that sort of stuff. And then uh, the person that was helping us out gets up and says, right, I'm just going to go get your um, your final contracts and then we'll have you all set up for Riviera. And my face dropped. And I was like, excuse me, like, Riviera? What are you talking about? And she said, um, oh, you're, you're buying at Riviera. And I was like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> we're not buying at Riviera. We're for Riviera. We're buying at Old US. And um, she was like, oh, and she looked really flustered, went off, came back and said, no, like your original contract that you did over the phone was for, for was for Riviera, not Old West. And um, that was a surprise. <laughs> and uh, so I just explained everything. And I was like, look, I was like, I've never once talked to anybody over the phone about Riviera. I've only ever wanted Old West. I rang looking for Old West points. I was told you had Old West points. It's the only reason why I moved forward. And I was able to give them information. I have some emails, but actually none of my emails mentioned all QS, but <clears throat> I have, I had information that I would only have had I to talk to somebody about all QS. Like for example, our use year started in February, 2019. That just wouldn't be possible if I had um, a Riviera contract because that um, place is not open yet. So I don't think you could have a February use year. At least that's what I think so. Anyway, um, so, it turns out in the end, they don't have all West at all. There's nothing they can do. It's property. They can't like, you make an exception. It just is what it is. Either they have it or they don't have it and they don't have it. And um, eventually we had like basically the most senior person there in the room with us explaining this to us. Like, I mean, we were nearly in tears at that stage. I could tell that this is something that doesn't happen very often. I've talked to other people um, like over messenger and stuff today and it, everybody's just a bit shocked that it's happened this way so I don't think this is a regular occurrence uh, but it happened so he was speaking to us about you know what else what else would we want um, he offered us Saratoga Saratoga is just not somewhere that we have any sort of like feelings for we stayed one night there we actually didn't have the best experience because um several reasons big complex we couldn't find our room we had an issue getting back in with a taxi it was just a one night experience and it didn't go particularly well um and we just don't have so it we don't want that to be our home resort um and then they were also pushing Riviera obviously that's the new resort we definitely don't want Riviera it's expensive it also is expensive in points to book um, from what I've looked at, it also has resale restrictions, which we just don't want. So Riviera was not an option. And um, then I sort of had a little chat with Rachel <laughs> of one of the times they left the room and was like, right, the only thing that I would do if you're happy to do it is to go with Animal Kingdom Lodge because we love Animal Kingdom Lodge. That's what we decided to do. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, we couldn't finish everything off today. We have to go back tomorrow, which is just really annoying because we did spend like over two hours there today, out of our day, our first day of our holiday. Like we have so many things we want to do. And tomorrow we hadn't planned on having to do this. So we're have, gonna have to forgo going to Epcot tomorrow afternoon and go back to Saratoga and try and get this all sorted. And just fingers crossed tomorrow goes really well. And we end up being DVC members here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. So there you go. There's the whole story. There's all the drama from today. Um, I don't think this is something that happens very often and I will do a separate video when I get home um, on DVC and on like why we signed up, like what influenced our decision, why we chose Animal Kingdom Lodge, why we want to buy it all Key West, etc, etc. So um, <clears throat> that will come up on the channel at some point once I get time to uh, film that. But yeah, that was today's experience and now we're incredibly tired and jet lagged and my voice is going because um, I still have a cold and 
we were like singing and clapping and everything and hoop to do uh, but overall we like the day was saved um they actually compensated us with an extra gift card if you're ever buying dvc or if you're ever like hoodwinked into going to one of these um viewings make sure you get a gift card you should get 150 dollars gift card right now that's the offer they have but we actually got double that today because of what happened so um that was good we got 300 dollars um in gift cards so we're currently in credit right now in our room <laughs> um so yeah that's it that's the story um we will see you guys tomorrow morning we're getting up nice and early to go back to the magic kingdom and uh, spend the morning there and then we will hopefully be going to saratoga to become animal kingdom lodge dvc members so thank you for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow bye bring us to life bring us to life I feel straight